Hello everyone and welcome back to another skill capped guide. Today I will be teaching you all about the powerful shadow that is Omen. We here at Skillcapped have studied all of the top Omen players in order to devise a complete guide with everything you need to know for Omen. By the end of this guide you will know some of the craziest Omen tips that hardly any players are aware of, some insane ways to get free kills, and even how to counter Omen. Without any further ado, let's hop into the ultimate Omen guide. Now to start, we're going to talk about Omen's role. Understanding Omen's role is some of the most useful and basic information you need to know. In Valorant, Omen is classified as a controller. This means he is great at supporting his teammates, especially by limiting the enemy team's vision. For reference, Brimstone is another controller agent. Both of these agents use smokes to help their teammates, but Omen is special. Not only is Omen a great support player, but also he is able to do some insane tricks to get some crazy kills. Omen is an agent that can be great for the solo player that wants kills, but also can easily compete in high level team play. This is one of the main reasons that Omen is just such a versatile agent. Now before we hop into how to destroy your opponents with Omen, let's fully understand his abilities and how to master them. Omen's first ability is an interesting one with a lot of potential. This ability is called the Shrouded Step. This is a very unique ability that allows Omen to teleport a short distance after a small delay. It costs only 100 credits and you can buy up to 2 per round. There are some amazing pro tricks you can use with Omen's Shrouded Step, many of which most of the player base doesn't even know about. The first trick with Omen's Teleport is to look to get into unexpected locations with it. One of the best areas you can get to here is Haven A Site. Here we see you can teleport all of the way into the window very easily. This is super useful when trying to get to a position that your opponents will not expect. I won't go over every single area that you can get to, but look for opportunities to use his teleport to get to new heights, as it will often catch the opponents off guard. Another way to get to unexpected angles is by teleporting to the opposite side of the angle that you just peeked. Let me show you what this looks like. You want to peek out from one side to draw the enemy's attention. Now that they are looking here, use your teleport to go to the other side. Now peek from here and get an easy kill. This is a great way to be unpredictable and surprise your enemies. Now our next tip is actually going to be on the map Bind. Many players don't actually know that you can fake teleport while using Omen. Yes, you heard that right, you can fake teleport, and I'm going to show you exactly how to. First, you want to get your teleport ability ready. Now jump through the teleporter, but right before you go through, use the teleport ability on the original side. It looks like this. This might take a few attempts to perfect, but this can leave your opponents completely confused. If you want to learn how to do this perfectly every time, then hop into the training ground and practice the timing of this jump over and over again. Do this until you can successfully execute this insane fake teleport trick. These are most of the main ways to use this teleport ability, but there is one more. Before we talk about that last trick though, I want to teach you also how to counter Omen so that when you go against him you can still perform well. The main way that you will counter Omen's teleport is with sound. What I mean by this is that you need to listen to your surroundings extra carefully while playing against Omen. Omen's teleport ability makes an audio cue from the location he's teleporting from. This means you won't know where he teleported to, but that he did in fact cast the ability. Listen for this and then try to check logical spots that he would have teleported to in order to counter these sneaky Omen teleports. Speaking of which, as you're facing more skilled opponents, they will listen for your teleport and then check for common spots like we just mentioned. You can actually mind game these opponents by faking your teleport. For example, let's say you use the previous tactic of peeking into teleporting to the other side. Well, if a good opponent hears you and predicts this, then do a fake teleport next time. Peek, then cast teleport on top of yourself. This will make him think you teleported across, then you'll peek the same angle again, completely catching him off guard. Now I know I said that there was one more teleport trick, but in order to effectively use it, we still need to understand Omen's Dark Cover ability. Omen's Dark Cover ability is a large purple smoke that can be placed anywhere within 80 meters of Omen. You spawn in every round with two smokes, and after one is used, a timer starts. This timer will count down from 35 seconds, and then will replenish a smoke charge for free. This ability is very similar to Brimstone's smoke ability, but there are some key differences. Brimstone players have to spend 100 credits for each smoke that they want to buy, whereas Omen gets his smokes for free. Another plus to using Omen smokes is the fact that you can determine and see exactly where you want to place them. Thanks to release 1.0, Omen has a completely new and improved UI for using smokes. This allows you to determine the exact position where you want to place your smokes. In this menu, you will not be able to see walls, but you will be able to still see the floor. 
Use your left click to make the smoke go further away, and right click to bring it closer. Finally, press the same button that you pressed to pull the ability out. This will quickly send the smoke to the position that you placed it. Keep in mind that if you place the smoke in the air, it will float down until it sits level with the ground. Now that we have the basics of this ability mastered, let's talk about some of the best ways to use it. Our first tip for this ability is going to be look at your map. This is less relevant in the current interface, but is still very useful. Your smokes show up on the map while being used and after. You can use this to make sure your smoke landed in the exact area that you placed it. And then another great way to get even more perfect smokes is by using the alternate smoke mode. Using the default R key, you can change the mode that you use to place your smokes. This mode will keep you in your character's body and will not affect the opacity of walls. I found that this mode is useful when trying to smoke something quickly. The minimap trick applies even more for this tip as well. Keep in mind, you can change which mode you want to use your smokes in at any time, even whilst using a smoke. Now our last tip is going to evolve not only the dark cover ability, but also the shrouded step ability. This ability combination is absolutely lethal and I will show you why right now. So most Omen players use his smokes to obscure the other team's vision. But with this tip, I'm going to teach you how to use his smokes to aggressively go for kills. First, you want to place a smoke close to you, then stand in it. Next, place another smoke that is fairly close. Finally, you want to use your teleport from the first smoke to the second smoke. It looks something like this. In order to get perfectly inside of the smoke every time, check your map while you teleport. This will show you exactly where you're going. Use this tip to aggressively push in a safe way. Also, make sure to peek out of your smoke before it fades if you want the best chance of surviving. And again, if the opponent is catching on to this play, listening for your teleport, then start faking it. Cast both of your smokes to set up for the teleport play, but instead of teleporting into the second smoke, teleport on top of yourself to fake them out. This will trick them into thinking that you teleported into the smoke, allowing you to catch them off guard once again. Now that you've mastered the shrouded step and dark cover, let's talk about our final ability, Paranoia. Paranoia costs 200 credits and has one charge. This ability instantly fires a shadow projectile forward that briefly reduces the vision range of all players that touch it. Keep in mind, it does go through objects and walls. This paranoia can be super powerful if used correctly. The only problem is many players don't know how to use it correctly. So many times I see players use a paranoia only to completely miss and get killed from the exact area that they thought they had blinded. I'm going to make sure this never happens to you again with just a couple of easy tricks that I will teach you right now. First, it is important to understand exactly how this ability works. We know that it blinds people and goes through walls, but that's not enough. One of the main things you need to know is the radius of this ability. Now I could bore you with the mathematical calculations of the paranoia ability, but instead I'll show you this one easy tip to know the radius. Click the paranoia ability key and look at your map. This blue area shows exactly where your paranoia will hit. Keep in mind it only has a range of 33 meters, so it's most useful in close combat situations. A lot of players use paranoia on an area and then move to peek with it afterwards to get kills on any enemies that they hit. This is perfectly fine and will be something that you see a majority of the time. However, another use for this ability is to help you clear multiple angles at a time. You can use your paranoia ability on one angle, then swing to check the other ones while any enemies are paranoid. Then, once that angle is cleared, check the angles you hit with paranoia to make sure there are no enemies there. And finally, let's talk about Omen's most fun ability, and that is his ultimate. Omen's ultimate is known as From the Shadows and requires 7 ultimate points. This ability allows Omen to teleport anywhere on the map. When you activate the teleport, Omen will go to the targeted location as a dematerialized form. He will stay in this form for 3 seconds before materializing. While he's in this stage, he is unable to shoot or move, but he can look around. While in this shadow form, other players are able to see you, but they cannot damage you. If a player does manage to shoot you while in this form, your teleport will be cancelled. This will count as your ultimate being used. On the other hand, you can decide to cancel your ultimate while in this shadow form by pressing the ultimate key. There are a couple of ways to effectively use this ultimate. The first way that we are going to talk about is the most common. You can teleport all the way to the enemy spawn in an attempt to flank and hopefully get a few easy frags. The only issue with this is that it is the most common and most predictable use of the ultimate. Many players will immediately check behind them when they realize Omen ulted, which would render your flank useless. The strategy I am going to recommend is to teleport to an unexpected strategic position. 
Let me explain exactly what I mean by this. For instance, on Haven, instead of teleporting directly into the opposing team's spawn, teleport to the bottom of mid, or at the back of a bomb site. This will allow you to get an extra sneaky position that your enemies will not expect. Another strategy that you can use is to show all five of your teammates slowly attacking a bomb site, and then this often causes the enemy team to rotate from the other bomb sites. Then later in the round after the enemy has rotated, when there's around 30 seconds left, use your ult to teleport to the opposite bomb site, which should be empty, making for an easy plant. And lastly, a really high level strategy to use with Omen's ultimate is to fake it. For example, let's say you wanted to push into A site with your team. Well, you can ult into the enemy's spawn, then cancel it before you appear. The opponents won't have seen that you canceled it, and will think that you're somewhere behind them. This often causes a few of them to rotate from their positions, or even angles that they're holding, to check behind them or check their spawn. Use this timing to then execute on the site. Now even though Omen's ultimate is extremely powerful, it can still be countered easily if you know what you're doing. If you remember earlier in this guide, I taught you all about the sound of Omen's teleport. Well, Omen's ultimate teleport is no different. Sound is the best way to counter it. When Omen uses his ultimate, a sound is emitted from the area he teleported to. The closer you are to his location, the louder and more obvious this teleport will be. Keep this in mind when you hear Omen use his ultimate, so that you can help your team pinpoint his location without even having to peek angles. Now that you've mastered the art of Omen, let's see how these tips are being used by some of the top Omen players right now. Before we get into that though, please consider supporting the channel by liking and subscribing with notifications on. We here at Skillcap spent countless hours creating the most premium guides for you, so any support is appreciated. Now, let's start by checking out this clip from T1 Brax. Brax is a professional Valorant player and is one of the best Omen players at the moment. The main thing we're going to pay attention to in this clip is the use of his ultimate. The clip begins with him and three of his teammates pushing through a main on Ascent. He then uses his ultimate to teleport onto site. This is timed with his teammates pushing and checking angles. Now the enemy has to watch behind them as well as in front of them, making for a much easier A take. This allows him and his teammate to effectively clear the site and puts him in a great position to hold it after. This is one of the best ways to use the Omen ult he gets behind his opponents while the teammates push. This was much more successful than if he were to have tried to ultimate into the opposing team's spawn which would take a lot longer for him to get in position to help his team and also render him useless if he does die. After he takes the site, he holds angles and peaks players one by one in an attempt to isolate the fights and then he eventually secures the round for his team. So we saw Brax take advantage of that beautiful ult strategy, but let's take a look at some gameplay that utilizes some of the other tips we talked about. This next clip that we're going to analyze shows Mr. Ostino in a 1v4 situation against popular streamers and players Shroud and Justin. Here we see Mr. Ostino using an op to take on this seemingly impossible clutch. The main focus of this clip is going to be on how he uses a single omen smoke and a single teleport to win the round. After grabbing a couple of kills, he smokes off the door on this side of garage. This allows him to confidently push onto site, knowing that he isn't going to die from that doorway. Next, he uses the teleport in a perfect way. He gets to an area that the other team did not expect, given that the enemy sage walled it off. He then uses the unpredictable positioning to get an op kill on Shroud and then Justin. Here we see the power of Omen's abilities, first smoking off an angle so the enemy couldn't shoot him from it, and then teleporting to an area that the enemies would not expect. Alright, wow, that's gonna do it for this one. We went over a ton of useful tips with Omen, but we would love to hear what you thought the most useful tip was in the comment section down below. And while you're down there, make sure to hit the like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon to get more premium guides just like this one. We here at Skillcapped want to thank you for watching, and good luck, good half, and good game.